Yeah. 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 Yeah
having to do with these complex numbers. Yeah, and exactly. If my theory is true, there are no quantum states. There are, there are in fact, no complex numbers in, in, in the real world. The real world is just one and zero with a several atomic Right. Now, the free will is you rotate the device, but you not only keep the states the same that you otherwise, but you also keep the phases the same. Now, those phases are unphysical. So rotating your, your device while keeping the phases of the wave function the same is not a physical meaningful operation that you should be considered. But you do have to consider that if you want to understand the, the violations of the belt and So that is a, a very fundamental aspect of, of, uh, of, of the belt and that I think might be the cause of uh, the apparent contradiction. But having said all that, I still think Bell has done something very important. Oh, yeah. It tells us what not to do. And uh, still, it's, it, it's, it's questions very well taken. And, and it does concern me a lot. You know, how can I really find a very straightforward answer? The only answer can come if you actually work out the model in all its details. And say, this is how it works mathematically. And then you want to say, you can say as much as you like, but this is the mathematical way the model works. Right, so for instance, when Steve Wolfram uh, proposed in, in his new kind of science yes. book, uh, or sorry, I don't we're know where the quote is that because it's so good, good is a 35 year old kind of science. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think new kind of science book is very 19th century. It's like you, you are a great man and you hire a lot of minions to write a fun, do a bunch of science for you, and then you publish this big book which is supposed to change everything. That's kind of like 19th century. But, uh, but he, he, he makes a mistake of saying he doesn't take into account this notion of the measurement of apparatus. He just says, okay, some cellular commons are evolving along, and we can get these to violate development qualities. But he evidently never read you know, these serums, which say, if all you have is local realism, which is a technical term here, and you don't also do something deterministic about switching these measurement apparatuses, then you cannot reproduce Bell's inequalities with something like a cellular automaton. But he, I wrote him a long, uh, not a long, but a brief but to the point letter about this, but he, he, he still denies it. Uh, but you have, but you do need you do need to have some this makes it harder, as you say. You, it tells you what you can't get away with. Very important observation about me, and it is that actually even after having said all the things I've said, I still find it difficult to imagine what exactly goes on when you do a bell like this it Because it's very hard to understand what it means if you observe a wrong case of about forty five degrees. That's the question you have to ask. So is it fair to say that you are the, the, the the picture you're advocating says that the, the complex numbers and much of the machinery of quantum mechanics is not part of the fundamental fabric of reality, but rather emer emerges in, in a certain effective description Correct. of this. Mm -hmm. this, this yes. uh, I find so quantum mechanics is a device to do the most efficient way calculation of statistics. Like you have million times, million times, million uh, cells of, of cell automaton. You can't solve, there's no way to solve it exactly. You have to do statistics. And quantum mechanics is the device to do statistics. Why that is so, is still something we must understand. This sounds beautifully analogous, in particular what you said about the icing model, also to, to Fermat's last theorem. Or